All right, guys, Zach here. Um, so a, a few weeks ago, Crunchyroll, the website, Crunchyroll.com, they had this special going on with their website on their store that you could buy a lot of 30 anime DVDs for around $20 if you include shipping. It was a member's price, I believe. It could have been a little bit more if you weren't, but regardless. So I decided, you know, being the big anime fan that I am, I would go ahead and try it out and see what I can pull up. I was expect I'm going to be expecting a lot of, you know, mid-season volumes and stuff like that because, you know, it was a value of, I think, it was like $200 or $300 or something like that, probably 200 And so, uh, knowing that anime is ridiculously overpriced at times, I'm not going to be expecting a whole lot of greatness in here, but I figured I would go ahead and just shoot a video opening this thing up. Now, I've only just cut open the box, as you can see, of this knife that I place in the middle just so I can keep the box closed because I could it easily just like flies open if I open it up so I want to keep it a mystery for myself as well so yeah um, I'll be opening this up now um, I'm no expert when it comes to like names and stuff like that of anime so you're gonna be hearing a lot of me saying oh I've heard of this before or um, I've never seen I don't never seen this before but I'll try my best anyway so please bear that in mind and also Enjoy my beautiful speech impediment. I have a funny accent, and I know that. Let's take a look here, okay? All right, let's open this up. Oh, God. The first thing I see. Now that is exactly what I spent my money on right there. Okay, so I'm just going to pull this out. First one up. All right, so it says... Submarine 707 Revolution, the movie. Oh. I don't think I think I've actually heard of this before. Let's see here. It says, a high-tech terrorist plagues the ocean. To counter the sub... Oh, I'm not even going to read all this. Uh, let's see here. They try to outwit Admiral Red's gargantuan nuclear submarine. And it features both English and Japanese 16x9 dynamic... What is it? Dynamic? There's like little pictures holding up on the screen, so I can't really see it too well. But it says something about 5.1 Dolby Digital Sound. Hell yeah, I can finally use my beautiful set, my home theater set, to really blast away the quality of this DVD. Dive into a deep sea. Oh, you can't even see that. Sorry, but the focus is way off. Let me try to see if I can do something here. Deep Sea Military Adventure. All right, there's the first one. Okay, Apple Sea. Now this is a really good movie. A stunning visual achievement. It's a new milestone for CG animation. John Woo, of course, John Woo. Just reading all these visuals. Yeah, um, this is this is a this is a really good movie. I, I like this a lot. Um, this was created by Shiro Masamune, uh, a popular Japanese artist. So he's got like a really distinctive artistic style. He's known for drawing women with pretty weird dimensions, to say the least. So, uh, yeah, this this is actually a pretty good movie when I first saw it a long time ago. They had some really cool designs. As you can kind of see from the front, the the mechs that they draw, it's pretty ridiculous. Uh, it's really nice. I, I enjoyed it back then. I'm glad that I got a copy now. It's sad to say I never really bought myself a copy. Uh, I think this thing came on Blu-ray uh, a number of years back, but you know, even on DVD, this get, this movie looked pretty good. So enjoy that one. Moving on, Heat Guy J. Oh yeah, I remember this when this was on like on MTV and stuff like that. That was my first real time being exposed to this series. Dice Gay. So I really remember. I didn't really watch too much of it to be honest, because um, it was always on at weird times of the day, but. For what it was worth, I mean, it did look interesting. Um, they needed a new hero, so they built Heat Guy J. Yeah, it's basically, I think it's like a police officer. Yeah, he's a, um, says the Mafia strikes back. Claire Leonelli, the leader of Judo's crime syndicates, first tries to destroy J through a child and the child's, and the city's own corruption, and then he tricks Dice K into a plot to make the Mafia a fortune on commodity trade. Let's see, what? Is this a certain volume, or... It says just as Vampire's Ambition. I think this... Oh, contains episodes, yep. Five, six, seven, and eight. 
Well, this is really out of focus. I apologize, guys, but it's the best I can do. Oh, and also says the CD soundtrack is also available. Great. It's for suggested for 13 and up. Not for those 12-year-olds. Gun X Sword. Oh, of course. Another interesting set. Of course, I got episodes 13, 14, 15, and 16. Volume 4, Fall of Nights. I think I've heard, I've heard about this one as well. Let's check it out. Check it out. Breath thick and so. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm like reading it and then I'm also moving the camera to the side. I apologize for that once more. Uh, yeah. What's that? Great. Beautiful Joe. Of course, based on the popular GameCube games. Episodes 4, 5, and 6. I am just not going to win at all when it comes to trying to find the first volume. Come on, Machine 6. Alright, so yeah, I really enjoyed the video game. So I was interested to see if the show was any good. I've never really, um, you know, checked out the show before. But obviously they kind of took off the artistic style a lot, so. Try to find out. My hands are not steady. Otherwise this thing could fall. Armitage. Oh gosh. I saw this a long time ago as well. There was a, um, it's like this... When I had DirecTV, they had like a channel way back, like at the end of all the movie channels, where they would show different anime at like late night time slots. And this was one of the movies. And what I saw of it, it was very, to say it was mature was um, an understatement. I mean, there's a lot of nudity, there's a lot of um, graphic violence, you know, that kind of thing. Everything you would want from a movie. Juliet Lewis, really? Featuring the. Okay. Yeah. Japanese all the way. What? Dragon Hunters? There's no place like home. Is this even an anime? I guess. Is it like French or something? What the? Gwizdo's bar tab is growing. Let's try to see if I can focus this a little bit. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to focus it. My hand. I'm trying to hold this while... There we go. Goes out of the tavern. Yes. This looks like a weird, like, Disney or Warner Brothers flick or something like that. This doesn't look like a... It's from... Jenny on God. Uh, whatever. That's... Play a toss away. Ah, uh, yes. I love this show. This is a great show. It's 17, 18... Which episodes are these? Oh wow, this is this is close to the end, isn't it? So it's 17, 18, and 19. This is really not going to play too well. So mostly it's just going to be me holding up and saying, hey, look at this. So, yeah, Tento Tenja, that had some great fight scenes in this. Like a lot of, like, a lot of high uh, viciousness and stuff like that, you know. Like, I had some of the best characters too. I really enjoyed this show when I saw this. So let's take a look. Uh, Shin Sword, both Maya and Mitsumori. Fear that history will repeat itself and Aya will continue the path of blood that her older brother started in the past. That's Aya right there. Okay. CD soundtrack available. <laughs> Man, they really want to let you know that there's music that can be had. Okay. Oh, and, uh,. Once again, another one. Which episodes are these? 14, 15, and 16. Ah, oh, so it's the previous. It's the one that just came right before it. Good. Yeah. It also had like a great opening thing. A boomer head. It's party time. Party time. Anyway. <laughs> I'm going to save that one for last. Ah, Elemental God. Once again, I've heard of this show, but I've never actually seen it. Good luck at that. I think I've seen like the, the manga and the stories and stuff like that, but I've never actually seen anything more than that. It's again, 14, 15, it's like all these shows that I got that have like two seasons or more. I'm catching like <laughs> the tail end of the second set, it seems, second season or something. Whatever you would call it. Right there. License by royalty. LR, what is this? 
I've never heard of this before. It looks interesting. Let's see here. A lull in Angel's activities makes active investigation difficult, so LR gets assigned to retrieve a royal gem before the syndicate can smuggle it out of the country. Let's see here. And of course, episodes 8 out of phase 9. Oh, I had it. There you go. 9, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, I don't know. Seems like everything here is, uh, how do you pronounce it? Genion? Genion? Let me do it. Psyche Reloaded. Oh man, the PlayStation game was pretty good. I think this was all based on, like, on, um, what was it? Like, Journey to the West kind of stuff? I don't, maybe I got it completely confused. Episode 9, 10. I'm not going to get any episodes 1, am I? It's like all these DVDs that it's basically begging you to go out. Yep, Goku, there you go. Basically buy the first DVDs and like, well, you can complete it now, can't you? Yeah. And, and this... <laughs> Gunlock. Reload Gunlock. So it's like, it's even like the second season. So in like, or the second series, whatever you call it. So once again, it's genuine. I think all these, all just... Alright, whatever. And another one, Saiki. And this time, it's 21, 22, and 23. So far, I'm clueless with a lot of these. Black Heaven, I don't know what these are. All right now, get out of my cloud. Get off of my cloud, excuse me. 10 years ago, far, far away, back in the era of jeans, we once burned as brightly as the sun. Looks alright. Hard Rock saves. Oh my gosh, what the hell is this? It's got bilingual audio. Alright. I don't even. Well, at least there's mechs in it. Alien Girls. Of course. Can have anime without Alien Girls. Gun X. Another gun sword. Gun X sword. Oh, I think I've actually seen like the first few episodes of this series too. Yeah, I remember this guy. Let's see here. 17, 18, 19, 20. I think I caught like two episodes, but that was like years ago, like in middle school. Not, not sorry, not middle school, high school. And I was starting to get back into anime after watching it like growing up. Watching all those years of Tsunami and Fox on Sunday mornings. Another Gun X Sword. With a hot chick on the front. It's got the same, almost exact same back. Let me, let me compare. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's just gonna have him on the front. Tossing these DVDs around like they're nothing. Forgetting that the fact is that they can scratch real easily. 9, 10, 11, 12. So volume 3. Alright, there's that. Another Dragon Hunters. What the hell is this show? Dead Dragon Walking. It's not even... What is not What is this show? Out of the frying pan into the tavern. Oh, God. Alright. This thing takes a long time to focus, so I'm just going to keep going. Lava Rocky. Uh, it's... I think this was, like, based on, like, this guy who has, like, the power of nature or something like that in his hands. Like you can make things grow. I don't know, it's like botany or something like that. Let's, let me just focus in on you for a second. Average junior high student has the power to change trash into trees. Yeah, that's... And the battle of the supernatural powers. Oh, yeah, the key the celestial... Yeah, it's all kind of coming back to me. To me. Um, it's basically that he... Just kind of finds out one day that he has this power to change things into plants and... All kinds of stuff, and then just goes on this tournament mode or something. Of course, you can't have an anime without a mascot. Is that, what the, is that even a mascot? It scares me. Is that sh fried shrimp? Mm. Okay. Anyway, moving on. Ah, ticks. I'm. <laughs> so, I used to have like an anime club in college, so that used to run and. 
when I first saw like the first few episodes of the show, uh, Texanalyze, all I really remember is that there's this one scene where like entire episode was this guy was breathing like really heavy going up some stairs or something like that. So all the time we would just make we would just be cracking jokes like, <sighs> and then yeah, you probably don't get it if you weren't there, but it's. It was a really weird show. I mean, of course, the fact that this was made by the same people who made Serial Experiments Lane and Habana Renme. Uh, you can only expect that, of course. Looks like it's the same character design as well. The same artist. And of course, this is... What volume is this? Oh. Five, six, seven, eight. Whoa, throwing stuff. Another Gunnick sword. What episodes are these? Oh, uh, so... The last rites, yep, this... Episode 26, that would be the complete package right there. The end of it, I should say. Hmm. I'm catching, like, the second half of the series. What is... Man, another... Gunnick sword. What, what episodes are these? 21, 22, 28. All right, so, so far I think I've got like, I think 14 to 26 or something. It's Fafnir. This looks like the same person who drew like Gundam Seed or something like that. Looks like the same exact art style. Haven't I've heard of it? Like I said, like I've heard of all these different shows. You know, it's like I, I keep I kind of keep up on at least knowing about the shows. And yeah, it's the it's the end. It's kind of weird, you know. It's like never seen these shows before, and you're looking at stills from the end of the series. So that's awkward. Three by three eyes. It's like this is like a weird like man. I could be more awkward if I tried, but this is a lot of me talking about like knowing that if I know these shows. To make him worthy to be Pi's guardian. But now I remember who she is. How can he help her become human if she believes she already is one? Oh, God. Well, hey. Chapter 1, Chapter 2. Oh, my God. I finally got the beginning of the series. And I've heard it. Actually, I think I've heard of this show because I think for, like, the longest time, I had, like, an avatar on some form that I just found and I used for a while. And... It came from this show. It's like this guy with a hat or something like that, but uh, I never checked this out, but now I guess I can. Pop that in later. <laughs> God, every time I see that DVD, you probably know what I'm talking about. Another Heat Guy J. What does that say? Popular TV series. Up, up, up. An edited version. CD soundtrack available. From the creators of Escaphone. Oh, I didn't know they made the Escaphone. See which just may fill the void in your heart left by the end of no. Mm, sorry, he guy J. You won't be, you might you won't be feeling that void anytime soon. So what volume is this one then? I'm kind of looking at it. So if I oh there it is. Looks like it's twenty one, twenty two, twenty three. Oh, it's enough of that. So. I'm just going to kind of go through these a little bit quicker now. So I got two more Lava Weki. <laughs> can't pronounce it. Ueki? Yeki? Volume 2, episodes 5 through 8. I think I got the first volume somewhere. Who knows? And then 9 through 12. God, I keep, keep showing that little creature. on. X. <sighs> X, two choices, two sides, one future. I remember seeing the movie and I was bored off my ass. That's all I really remember this series. It's, it's got a very convoluted story and difficult to follow. So, ask me anything about X and I could tell you that it's like I got nothing for you. Space. I think it was like heaven and hell or something like that. I don't know. Let me turn this sideways. Take about a year to focus. After the funeral, it's wrecked with Dragon of Earth Assassin. But something. D yeah. Oh, of course. Clamp. Yeah. Band of 
female artist. Bunch of pretty boys. Oh, there's that. God, this X driver. Isn't this like a kid show? It's... No, wait. Isn't this like the um, yeah, like the race driving show? It's like the movie. It's X driver the movie. Isn't this like a bunch of like racing cars or something? The squeal. Oh, once I get the focus on. Oh. Yep, the squeal of smoking tires, the roar of the engine, and the thrill of a hairpin turn on a power drift. This is not initial D. Once I get like an hour here, find it. There you go. Because they only use cars driven by AI computers. Sometimes the computers lose themselves and the cars race out of control. Sentient cars. One day. One day, cars will have brains of their own. I'm tired of putting up with humanity's crap. Being stepped on all day. And another Heat Guy J. So far, nothing to... Oh, jeez, okay, so it's one, two, three, and four. Finally, I got the first... God, such a goofy looking guy. What is with his face? All right, so that's you guys, Jay. And now finally, what you all been waiting for? Doggy poo. Viewer's Choice Award. Oh, let me set this down. Maybe I can do better if I just set it on the ground. Winner's Choice Award. The Big Apple. Nope, that's doing a lot worse. English. A Korean with English. It's a Korean show. Sometimes dreams really poo come true. This is this, this is trolling me here. It's about a time. Oh, God, what's with this description? I gotta pull back. Come on, come on, come on. Sorry. Little doggy poo lived on the side of the road. He felt all alone in the world. He believed that nobody needed him for anything and that he had no purpose in life. If only Doggy Poo had a reason for being, then he wouldn't give up on his dream mm -hmm. to be useful mm -hmm. to the world. One day, Doggy Poo meets a lovely dandelion sprout. Will she explain his purpose in life? Will she help him make his dream come true? Everyone has a purpose. Best pilot prize anime f selection of the cartoon. Did, was someone just walking along, like on a sidewalk? And then he looked over and it's like, I wonder if anyone will care about the Doggy Poos of the world. Left all alone. He's not worried about cleaning up after himself. This. I, I, I'm gonna watch this. I just. I need to know. I need to know. Alright. Alright, so that's about it. That's all I had. So, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Uh, you know, it's, it's the kind of thing where it's like I've kind of been coming in and out. Uh, sorry, that's that came out weird. I've been kind of just dabbling on anime over the past couple decades, you know, started off with, you know, like Tenshi Miro and Sailor Moon and Dragon Ball Z and stuff like that. I've only recently came back into becoming a huge fan of anime once again, so my knowledge, as far as the shows are concerned, maybe only stretch over the past two years or so. Um, I mean, I was in these anime clubs and stuff like that, but we watched a lot of older stuff too, so it wasn't like we were too into a lot of, yeah, like a lot of this stuff. Not incredibly popular, I guess. I don't... I mean, there's, there's some good stuff here, like Tento Chenje and Hikai J and stuff like that, but... Anyway, you know, I guess it just gives me an excuse to kind of fill in all the blank spots I have of shows that I haven't seen before that I've been hearing things about, so... Yeah, I guess I'll just go ahead and check these all out, and... Well, uh, thanks a lot for watching the video, guys, and, uh, you know, maybe one day I'll do another one of these videos. Bye-bye!